Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lynn Francis, and you are on Time and Era. Again, on a popular demand, I'm going to make this video to explain how you are going to go about it if you are selected for the DV Lucky program and then you got married in the process. Maybe you got married after applying for the DV Lucky program and you didn't get a chance to add your spouse or later you got children uh, after the applying for the DV Little program. Uh, there has always been this question. Can you still add them? Yes, you can still add them. When after the after the DV Little program, you got married or got kids. When you are applying, when you are applying for your green card, in the DS. 260 form you can include their information you can add the information of your spouse or your kids to the form and then you need to also have supporting documents to prove that indeed you got married or this child or children belongs to you once you're able to do that you submit your ds260 to the KCC or the Kentucky Counselor Center, you will be scheduled a date and you will be able to attend interview and all things being good, the terrorist parables will be given the visa. I want to also talk about this. If you have the chance to add your spouse or children at the time of applying for the DV Lottery program, do so or before applying do so if you apply alone and you go and you get your green card later on you want to add these people it will take a longer time than usual for them to join you in the united states that is how it works the u.s government pays attention to citizens more than green card holders mind you if you have a green card you are not a citizen yet it might take some years or some requirements for you to become a citizen but if you're a green card holder you are not a citizen you only have a permanent residency so assuming you went alone and later you want to bring your children there are people also there who are citizens and they want to bring their family there are a lot of applications the state the homeland state department receives and then they have to process all of them. Preference is given to those who are citizens. So if you are not a citizen, you are a green card holder, and you also want to bring your relatives, your spouse, your children, or any other person, it can take you five years. So it will cost you a lot if you don't add them at the time of application. But if you're able to add them at the time of application, you all of you will be giving the visa at the same time and it will save you that stress. If not, it might take longer than usual for these family members to join you at the state. So make sure that as much as you can, you should be able to add all your your, your family members, those who you need to add, you need to add, which includes your spouse or your children at the time of application or at the time of filling the DS-260 form to save you the stress of going through further years to bring these family members to the state. Thank you, and then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.